Hello, good people of the free world. Tom Selly with Success Habits, Design Your Destiny. And here on Success Habits, we talk about the things that we do on a regular basis, the, the daily routine, the habits that we make that help us be more productive and more effective in this thing called online marketing and in business in general. And today I'm going to talk about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exclude some of you from this uh, training or from this, uh, it's really not a training so much as it is you know, just a little spotlight. Uh, if you're a, if you're a Windows machine user, if you're a Windows operating system user, you probably won't get a lot from this because today's success habit is all about the Mac. So today I want to share with you what I do. One of the things that I use, one of the tools that come native on on uh, Leopard, that I think is awesome, and it's called Spaces. Now, uh, for years and years, I was developing in the Windows world, and uh, when I did that, I had the dual monitor set up, and I thought I was pretty cool. Uh, in my old studio, I had dual 26-inch monitors, and I loved it. I mean, it was great to have all that extra real estate, and that's how you know the big boys play with multimedia, right? They they have one one monitor for all their color palettes, and one monitor for all of their extra stuff, and then they have one monitor that's the main stage of whatever the subject is that they're working. Working on, be it uh, in, you know, in, in the graphics world or video or whatnot, and it was great. But I came to realize when I made the decision to jump over to the Mac, I came to realize that if I wanted my 27-inch iMac to be reasonably portable, because they do actually make luggage for your iMac, and I thought, you know, I I, I don't want to go to a MacBook Pro. I want the bigger screen. I want all the power of the iMac. So. I decided to do away with my extra monitors, and by the way, it wasn't hard because my reasonably high-end 26-inch monitor didn't compare whatsoever to the quality and the brightness of my 27-inch Mac, right? Um, even though it was, like, like I said, it was a, a, a middle to higher-end monitor, it didn't have the pixel ratio, and it certainly didn't have the brightness, and it just, it just wasn't fun anyway. But uh, the reason why I'm giving you this tutorial is I decided that I was going to force myself to learn how to get it all done on one screen. Because if I ever did travel, I wasn't going to take an extra monitor with me, right? And so in comes Spaces. Now, I didn't know about Spaces probably for the first week, but you know me, um, because the Mac was new to me, I was doing a lot of research and study. And I found uh, out about Spaces, and I started uh, using it. And within the first week, I got in the habit of using it. And now it's just part of my everyday. So what is Spaces? Well, Spaces allows you to set up different applications on different slides or screens that you can toggle back and forth on. So like right here, I'm on my, my editor, right? This is um, this would be like Space, I think, because I have eight, which is a lot. Most people will use four. Uh, power users will use six, but I'm insane, so I use eight. So this would be screen number uh, five for me. Uh, so let me show you what happens when I initiate spaces. All I have to do is hit control and the arrow key, and I can switch screens. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So look how fast it goes. So here I am on space five. This is my, you know, where I do all my editing. If I go one over, this is the internet, right? This is where I have my internet browser. And my browser always lives here. So if I need to go over to Facebook uh, and make a post or whatever, I can do that. And then I can jump right back into my work. Now, the space above, and you see the little, um, the little window there, right? You see how it's moving when I move? The space above is my mail client and Skype. So when I want to you know, communicate with people, I'm here. Over here is my Evernote account, and I just started using Evernote uh, a couple weeks ago, and I've got a space for it. So any time that I want to take a note, you know, whether it's an audio note or just write something down, you know, I can jump over into that space. Now below it, uh, I'm using Parallels, and that's a whole other tutorial, but Parallels allows me to pull Windows into my Mac. And the cool thing about that was I was able to take my entire hard drive from my last Windows machine migrated into my iMac and all of it lives in a virtual machine on side my Mac so I literally have access to all my apps so let me show you let me just hit the start menu here all the apps I used to use are still here right and it, I, I did that with minimal pain I mean there was just a couple times I had to input uh, you know keys serial keys but besides that it was pretty painless so I can access all of my Windows stuff here 
And then I keep a couple screens uh, empty because sometimes it's just nice to have empty desktop space that you need to access stuff on your desktop. Here is iTunes, right? So this is eight separate windows that I have in spaces that I use. It helps me keep productive. It helps me toggle over to the stuff I need really, really quickly. You can see how quick it moves. Look at that. I can just fly around here. And you can see, you always know what window you're on if you look at the little, the little grid there in the center. So how do you activate spaces? Well, you go over to your menu and you go to System Preferences. And then under System Preferences, under Personal, in the top tab, you've got Expose and Spaces. Now, I looked at Expose. I didn't really think it was anything I needed. Expose is when you put uh, an application in the corner of the screen and you can access it that way. For me, the simple solution was Spaces. So over here, as I said, I've got eight different windows that I can set software applications up. Now you can, if you hit the plus sign, you can add a row. Uh, conversely, you can subtract a row, right? This is pretty self-explanatory stuff. Over here, if you hit plus here, this is what you do when you want to add an application into spaces. And once you add an application into spaces, you can right click to, to tell spaces what space you want that application to, to live in. Now the other cool thing that I'll, I'll share with you is you can move stuff into other spaces. Like here I have Windows Parallels and if I grab it and I just kind of drag it to the left, eventually it's going to toggle over into the next space. So you could do it that way if you had it. That's a little clunky, but sometimes you do need to, uh, to do that. Uh, oftentimes I'll be over here, right? And then my graphics editor. And I want to access a folder that might have royalty free images or whatever and I'll open my folders and like the, this folder might not be living in this space it might be over here right so I'll just grab it and I'll drag it over you know I'll drag it into the space I need it to be so that's spaces in a nutshell a great productivity tool one of my success ha habits one of the things that I use to stay you know organized and to just kill this thing called social media. And until next time, this is Tom Selly with Unlimited Profits saying thanks and God bless.